Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am in Sparks Line and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing The Flash Season 4, Episode 11 called The Elongated Night Rises. So we start off um, with Barry in prison and there's a riot going on. And so he manages to put everyone back in their cells and pop back into his cell before anyone notices that he's missing. And then uh, Joe is dealing with a crazy my, uh, man at a bank, and so what happens is, while he's negotiating with the guy, elongated man, um, or Ralph, takes the prisoners out one by one, helping them out, helping to escape, and then he confronts the guy, takes his bomb, and then implodes in himself, and of course he's fine, and then the guy literally passes out. The whole thing is actually kind of funny, as I don't know what, it's just... <laughs> Hysterical. And then, um, but he's kind of pissed that he doesn't have a name because they're calling him Stretchy Man. And he's not having that. And <laughs> Team Flash is uh, just being kind of frustrated when he gets back. And um, it's not like he's not doing a good job because he is doing a good job, but he's being a little cocky. And they're just kind of frustrated with the whole Barry thing. And they're just kind of taking it out on him a little bit. And so, um, then Barry runs into the trickster in the prison yard, and then, um, he's like, don't you want to join our gang and stuff, and he wants to stay away from Big Sir, and Barry's like, no, I don't want to do that, and then Barry trips and messes up this guy's shoes, and they're about to fight, but the warning comes in and stops it. And tells them that he has a 130 and that's ours. So they talk for a little bit. And she just uh, vents her frustrations out. And then go to where the, um, the trickster is at the um, in the hospital room because he's not feeling well. So a nurse comes in and um, um, basically um, injects something to the guard. And turns out it's the trickster's mother. And so they escape. And then Joe talks to the warden at the prison about the information and how to get um, the um, video surveillance. And then talks to Barry for a little bit. And the guy's name, the trickster's name, his real name is Axel Walker. And the person that bailed him out was his mother, which is Zoe Clark, which used to be Prank. They used to run with tricks, um, the original trickster back in the day. So Dean Flash is spreading in a little thin, trying to get information and trying to look for them. And then we have Alex um, and his mom talk, and they start to bicker because he, she wants him to turn over a new leaf, but he has other plans and he's not going to do that. And he wants to go for the stretchy man. <laughs> and so... Um, because he saw him on TV, so he's like, oh, that's the new guy, so I need to take him out, obviously. Then uh, Barry gets cornered at the, um, at the prison, and but um, Big Sir helps him out and breaks up the fight and knocks everyone out. And then we cut to where the trickster uh, uh, taps into the feed and is all over the TV and has a bouncy ball bomb, so... Just bounces, bounces, bounces until it hits like a car or something super heavy. Then it goes kaboom. And um, he wants the stretchy man. So um, Ralph sees on the TV. So Cisco um, buys some men and they talk. <laughs> well, they talk and then um, that <laughs> it's just a funny conversation that they have. It's just like throwing all these weapons at him and nothing's, nothing's, it's just bouncing off of him. They finally get sprayed with acid, and then that hurts him really bad. It actually cuts a hole into his knee, and it's burning. And so um, Ralph has backup and vibe, knocks out Trickster, and then takes him back. And he is, um, they say his knee might heal, but they don't know yet because it's untested. And he's starting to spaz out, and then we cut to where... Barry talks to the guy and basically said um, his dad helped him out and he's just saying now we're even. And now, um, so Trickster goes back to where his mom is and now she's on the crazy train because she decided not to take her pills to make her son happy. And, he, and so now she wants in on the game. 
And then uh, Drexler goes on TV again and got hostages um, and with an acid shower. And they use Bebo again. They love Bebo. <laughs> and so um, there's the acid, um, like I said, acid shower, and they get rid of Bebo. But so Team Flash gets a uh, location, and Cisco gives Ralph a new suit, but Ralph is backing out because he's basically chicken because he doesn't want to die. So as he's leaving, he talks to Barry, and Barry encourages him and convinces him to go. And we give him a really, really good advice. And then Barry talks to uh, the guy again. And then um, basically what happened was um, he saved, uh, his dad saved his life. And basically because he has some pain, so um, he operated on him and basically saved his life. And then... And then um, as they leave, as Barry goes back to his cell block, um, the other people that he broke up the fight earlier with, Big Sur's people, uh, or that he broke up the fight with, cornered him and started beating him up. Then Trickster, um, basically, um, so basically when Ralph backed out, Killer Frost and Bob are go uh, went there along with Harry uh, to um, for him to dissolve the acid and for uh, Killer Frost and Vibe to help out the hostages and to bail them out. But Trickster tripped them with Prank and put Metal Blocker um, handcuffs on them so they're now not able to use their powers. And then um, we cut to the scene where Barry um, finds the guy getting beaten up by the people and stops it by slowing down and they basically knock each other out and he saves the guy. And then Harry is trying to dissolve the acid, but it's not working really. And so the trickster is on TV again. And then Ralph interrupts with this new suit, which actually looks super, super cool. I really like the suit. And then Ralph covers himself and um, covers uh, Killer Frost and Cisco. But it turns out the acid has been dissolved by um, Harris and Wells. So everything's fine. He managed to make the um, acid non-acidic. And then, um, and then, um, <laughs> so there's a funny interaction where, um, they're getting, put, um, where Trickster and Prager get put into the police cars, and then, um, Ralph talks to reporters, and now he's called the Elongated Man. <laughs> and then, uh, we cut to where Barry and, and the guy talk again, his actual name is Dave, and I'm Big Sir. And then he talks to Iris, and that was a really touching moment, actually, when they talked, because um, he was able to um, phase his hands so they could actually touch, because that's the main thing she was concerned about. And then uh, Vibe and, well, well, Cisco and Ralph are at the coffee shop, and uh, they get coffee, but they both forgot money. So that girl from um, the crossover episode paid for their coffee, and it's like standing out like a you know, kind of like Barry does. You know, he just has that, like, when, you know, when Barry first started on, in the series, he was just kind of like a babbling idiot, kind of like Felicity is a little bit. And um, so basically, um, she pays for the meal, and then she keeps babbling, and then she just kind of walks off. <laughs> and so um, then we, uh, then, uh, then Cisco and Ralph leave, and then we see the girl writing to a journal of the same symbols that Barry wrote when he first came out of the Speed Force. And that's the end of the episode. I thought it was a really good episode because you actually get to see Ralph's strong suit and how he was able to mature and to be a better hero. And for um, and for Barry dealing with stuff in prison, I think that's a new take on his character. And it's definitely a really good episode. So I'll give this like an A+. Plus. It was really, really good. And it definitely had that nice uh, comedic balance along with drama and all, everything just meshed well together. So it was overall a really, really good episode. So that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please give it a like, comment down below what you think, and then uh, subscribe for more stuff. And I'll see you all later. Bye, everybody.